Hi everyone, Professor Manny Peak Trading today, August 13, 2023. Let's talk about IELTS Biotherapeutics again. Lots of positive updates, and also stock could still up 700% in the next two years. Looks very promising. Let's take a look. So, real quick disclaimer: We're currently holding IELTS stocks and loan call options. We do not represent any pharmaceutical company. Any medical questions? Please consult your doctors. And also, we're not financial advisor. Please invest at your own risks. The largest and biggest positive update so far is FDA finally accept Alphen's biological license application, abbreviated as BOA,、uh, back to March 24, 2023. The management fulfilled the promise to file BOA in 23Q1, which makes us really nervous because they literally filed it at the end of the Q1. And luckily, FDA finally accept this BOA application in May 2023, which is a big, big、uh, catalyst over here, and also good news for the medical community. And IELTS investors and management and their employees. And finally, FDA will provide an update on their approval decision on November twenty fifth, twenty twenty three. Hopefully, will be a really big Thanksgiving gift for all of us. So, in the last earning、uh, last Thursday, the management actually provided some updates. First, the FDA review mid cycle has already passed, and the interim CEO said there's no any major issue from FDA so far, which is a really big relief for investors. And also, they are 100% sure that FDA wouldn't would not require ACOM expert meeting, which usually is considered as a kind of negative factor,、uh, because if the you know、uh, the therapy is so innovative, FDA is not sure what they're dealing with. They want to hire external experts to write reports to evaluate this、uh, therapy is really beneficial for patients, etc. And that usually just bring unknown risks、uh, for our FDA、uh, review process. So that's why you, we usually don't want to see it, and FDA has explicitly said no, we don't need ACOM expert meeting for this case, which is really、uh, big news and positive news for IELTS investors and the community.、Uh, well, I know we think the largest risk is the pre-approval facility inspection that we also mentioned in the last video back to February 2023.、Uh, the link will be on the upper right corner, and the.、Uh, Management actually said this pre-approval facility inspection will happen later in the cycle, maybe October or November.、Uh, what we think is because this T-cell therapy、uh, looks very promising, but the manufacture process is also quite complicated. What if FDA, FDA go inspect the facility and they start to see something they don't like, and they say, "Well, the therapy looks promising, but we want the." Manufacturer facility to improve to a certain level before you can launch commercially, right? This will delay the whole process and、uh, potentially tank the stock price of IELTS. So we think this is the biggest risk here. In the next er- er- earnings in the early November, if FDA w- could have、um, performed this pre-approval facility inspection, and the management can provide this update in the next earnings in early November potentially, and date still TBD. Uh, we think that could be a catalyst、uh, before the FDA position on November twenty fifth, twenty twenty three. So keep in mind,、uh, this is the still a risk, and we have seen that happen on、um, FDA review、um, delay because of this、uh, pre approval facility inspection. And also, there are several、uh, clinical updates. So not only、um, Alphans has this melanoma update on the FDA approval. Uh, pending uh, right after Thanksgiving, but also on the small cell lung cancer (NSCLC), they have a different st- set of clinical trial、uh, for cohort one and two. On top of the cohort three B, which we know the、uh, performance was really pr-、uh, good in the, our last、uh, YouTube video.、Uh, for this one, right now they updated in July, and we see objective response rate on patient cohort one and two. Is twenty six percent. So this further reinforces our thesis that this T cell therapy really works in late stage cancer right now, where no treatment is available.、Uh, so currently, Alphans is expanding this clinical trial、uh, to a bigger trial, and they are going to finish、um, in- enrolling patients in、uh, second half twenty twenty four. And we think potentially Alphans is going to file FDA approval on their T cell therapy on unsmell、uh, cell lung cancer. And potentially 2024, 2025, and like like we mentioned in the last video,、uh, this is a way bigger market compared to melanoma. So if they can also have clinical update or even FDA approval on the small unsmell cell lung cancer, we think the IELTS stock price will have a major boost. 
、uh, in the next two years. However, well, there's one big puzzle we have to answer. A lot of people reach out and ask why, right? Because、uh, Alphen stock price、uh, actually doing really well in the last round of 2019 to 2021 BL BLA filing stage.、Uh, the stock price actually a lot of hype, push from single digit all the way to fifty four dollars, and then start to pull back down when FDA actually require more potency sale assay. Uh, data and also their per,、uh, previous CEO left, and the stock just continued to tank from 54 to single digit, as you can see right now. Right? Why the previous BOA filing has so much hype?、Uh, FDA eventually didn't accept it. However, in this round, Iofans had a successful BOA filing. FDA finally accepted it after two years. However, the stock price so far only fluctuated between seven to ten dollar, which is quite disappointing. As the Iofans investor really tests our patience, so let's dig into why. And we think there are several reasons, and let's break it down. First, so far this year, money has largely flowed into technology stocks. On the left side is Nasdaq ETF QQQ. You can see、uh, starting this year, it pushed from、uh, $260 per share all the way to a、uh, year high around $400 a share, doing really well, up almost 50 percent. Right. On the meantime, Iofans stock price on the left, on the right. Uh, just fluctuating between five to ten dollars, going nowhere. It's very frustrating to see such a high potential stock just you know going up and down、uh, compared to Nasdaq, right? Because it's, it's an AI hype this year. Everything about AI is going out really nicely, and which we think is part of the reason why the money flowing out of biotech in general and go to tech. And we're doing capture this trend as well, right? Like one of our best investment, PLTR. Uh, this year is also AI stock.、Uh, we enter around eight or nine dollars, and then、uh, we sell most of them at fourteen, fifteen dollars.、Um, that's a really nice fifty, sixty percent gain.、Um, but still, we think in order to outperform the market this year,、uh, having a small tech,、uh, biotech investment is also very important. One of our best holding this year is also a, bio, a small biotech called Rita Pharmaceuticals,、uh, ticker name R E T A. Uh, in the last few weeks,、uh, it's going to get acquired at $170 per share, and luckily we're able to get in、uh, at the end of last year around $32, and that results in almost 500% gain. And as you can see, we're doing I'm sorry, 400% gain. And we're doing really well on this、uh, stock in the on a long-term、uh, portfolio invest、uh, in long-term investment portfolio. So come back to QQQ. You can see the daily chart start to break, having the start to show a downtrend 40-day EMA cross, testing the 60-day EMA support.、Uh, this is the first time we see this year after a huge rally that the, there's some weakness in the technology stocks, and we think it's overbought. And there's not enough catalyst to continue to support this market. So where will the money flow into? Right, we think right now we have seen flowing into commodity, but we think the small biotech will have the chance、uh, since a lot of them has catalyst、uh, at the end of 2023 and this first half of 2024, including、uh, Alphans. And so far this year,、um, our long-term investment portfolio doing pretty well. Uh, starting, we have a benchmarking account, sixty-eight thousand dollars, and on January,、uh, right now it's closing around ninety-five thousand eight hundred twenty-two dollars. So the year-to-date performance、uh, is outperforming QQQ,、uh, as our performance fourteen point nine percent year-to-date, while QQQ is fourteen point four, and not to mention totally outperforming Spy and Berkshire Hathaway around fifteen to seventeen、uh, percent year-to-date return. However, we have to list this、uh, ticker name XBI, which is a small biotech ETF, has performed really, really badly, which is minus minus two percent, and that's the other reason why we think、uh, the biotech in general performed so well because its ETF just not doing well, which is on the left side XBI daily chart, right? You can see that so far this year, if you still remember,、uh, QQQ is a huge rally, one line trend up. Uh, the small biotech ETF XBI just fluctuating between ninety five dollars to seventy four dollars, going nowhere. And if you look at the chart on the right, which is Alphen stock price, which is literally almost very, very highly correlated to each other. Why? Because XBI actually has the one one of the largest holding is Alphen, I O V A. So sometimes you see Alphen, no news today, but start to pull back. Why? Because XBI got sell off. And when SBI got sold off, they have to sell some of the Alphen stocks, and that just bring Alphen stocks down. So, 
Um, sometimes when you see the news and there's no news, I often pull back, just look at XBI and probably you will get the answer and don't panic, right? This sector just not doing very well so far this year. And the reason why this sector is not doing very well, uh, there are two reasons here. First, the Amgen's trying to, which is a big pharma, try to acquire a smaller biotech company called Horizon, and it's delayed because FTC started kicking and the regulatory concerns like, hey, you know, we don't like this deal. So, and because this small biotech space is so heavily require uh, rely on acquisition, right? And now we are seeing this industry trend being blocked by FTC. So investors start to have concerns and we, that's why the money started to flow out in this sector a little bit. And the other reason that there are so many acquisitions is actually because the big farmer has a patent cliff coming up. So, so far by 2030, there will be 190 drugs that uh, patent expire. And among these 190 drugs, there are 69 drugs that are blockbusters, uh, really good selling drugs, and their patents are gonna get, uh, going to be expired. So we're expecting 46% estimated revenue decline for the world's top 10 pharmaceutical companies in the next uh, decade, which is a huge loss for the whole industry. And that's why we started to see the Baltic ETF, which have been doing really well during pandemic, now start to be totally outperformed uh, during the, uh, 2023. And this is why. And that is why there are so many acquisitions. And uh, well, now this acquisition are potentially or is going to be blocked by FTC. That just brings a big problem for the industry. And also, recent five is Alphans. Uh, they actually launched $172.5 million of stock offering, which diluted the stock to about 10%. Right after they launched, uh, released the uh, NSCLC positive clinical trial results, which we think, oh, the stock finally going to breach $9 and push above $10, and then boom, stock offering, which is kind of frustrating as a stock investor. However, you step back and think about it, right? Uh, in the earning calls, they mentioned to raise, uh, after raising this money, they have enough cash to operate until the end of 2024, which actually helped uh, the risk IOFANS as a company, right? Because if they only do this stock offering after their life of loose cell got approved after Thanksgiving, what will happen is they have to risk what if the drug don't get approved, then they don't get have still don't have enough cash for the second half of 2024 and the stock price is already tank, right? So it's actually better to do the stock offering right now before the FDA approval, though the stock price is not as high as, as, high as we would hope, but at least the company now buy the cash and good until 2024, uh, Q4 before you know the FDA decision, which we think is promising, but still there's a chance that might not get approved, right? So uh, we think that's a reasonable act. Um, happened earlier than I expected because I calculated based on our mathematic calculation that their cash level should have enough uh, money until 2025. But apparently we're wrong, probably because the manufacturer commercial expansion just burns so much money and not to mention all the clinical trials that they are running at the same time. So we think it's a fair move, even though that just bring the stock price going nowhere before the FDA approval. But yeah, we'll take it. So right now we're still seeing Alphans has massive potential, uh, has a whole array of pipelines in the solid tumor, as you can see, and they all show the pretty solid phase two uh, trial results. So looks very promising. Another reason we think Alphans uh, has a massive potential here is because it's under value. So currently they can produce 2,500 wor uh, patients worth of uh, life of Lucia in the current facility. And based on the current T-cell therapy on block cancer from other companies, uh, so around three hundred thousand dollars per treatment. So if you multiply this three hundred thousand per treatment uh, dollars per treatment by twenty five hundred patients, we're looking at around seven hundred fifty million dollars of annual revenues. And the PS value is equal to six around the industry standard. Uh, our valuation is looking like about four point five billion dollars. So divided by the number of shares Alphans currently has. Uh, the fair market value is $18.2 per share if Alive Lucille can get FDA approval after Thanksgiving this year. However, the management does mention that they can expand the facility to 5,000 patients 
uh, worth of uh, life of loose cell being produced there, if they want to uh, expand it on the current facility, that will just double the valuation to $36.4 a share. And potentially, they said they also uh, could uh, build another facility uh, in the long run, probably 2024, 2025, if there are market traction and if FDA approve, approve the drug. And if they can expand it to 10,000 patients, assuming this $300,000 per treatment, of course, can be lower, can be higher, we're not sure yet, uh, that can potentially push the stock prices to 7 to $73. So that's a really, really long-term trajectory, one or two years from now. But you can see if those things happen, um, the stock price, uh, reasonable stock price should reach at the current level, which is way higher than the current $7 a share. So that's why that's our what we post on the social media and also our Money Peak Trading website is uh, the rough estimate based on the clinical trust and the FDA timeline, and the best case scenario, and the lower limit in the best case scenario in the red, uh, best case in scenario in the blue. Um, so far this year, um, we are seeing the uh, stock price is moving along our trajectory. Uh, so far, 23 first half of this year, uh, the average price is about $7, which is slightly lower than our project, uh, projected trajectory, uh, but still kind of in the range. Uh, once FDA approved, we think the reasonable stock price should be uh, fall between $18 to $27. And if there are more FDA positive approval and clinical trial results, uh, we think the price will gradually push up as we break down in the previous video. So uh, this is just an updated chart that will include the 10% uh, stock dilution that happened in July 2023. So we mentioned a lot of risk of investing here. Uh, we're not going to repeat it again as we have break down the last video. Again, the link will be in the upper right corner. Uh, just make sure it's still early biotech in, uh, in company. So, you know, don't sell your kids, you know, all in into just one stock. Um, just to be upfront, I currently have about 5 to 6% of my whole portfolio under IELTSense. Um, don't call options in stocks. So, um, yes, one of my biggest investment, but again, I'm not pulling all my eggs into one basket. Uh, even though this still looks very promising, but still there are still risks as we list over here. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, please make sure to follow us on um, moneypicktrading.com for our robust Discord community. Also, we're on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Reddit on Money Pick Trading. Feel free to check us out. Uh, thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.